one two. Mike check one two one two. This is not financial advice. Let's get it, baby. So let's talk about it. The first banger on the list that we got to talk about is the beast, the big dog, the banger. Because I know a lot of people are getting shaken out, but we got to talk about it. And what is it? It's AMC Entertainment. So here we go. And let's check it out real quick. Oh, I got to sneeze. Up oh, every time. Short seller. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, I'm allergic to them short sellers, family. You know what time it is. But here we go. AMC, like I was telling you before, is now trading under the 200 moving average, which is a negative catalyst. I'm looking on a five-minute chart. Generally, that's not a good thing. Let's zoom out a bit. And let's see. It's $14. It's trying to get back up ever so briefly and retrace all the way up to the $15 range. But here we go. Let's get rid of this Fibonacci real quick. We don't need it right now. Boom. Even on a day chart, we're trading under the 200, which is a negative sign. What AMC likes to do with stocks in general, they generally like to use these lines as like a support. And on a day chart, we are under it, which is, again, a negative catalyst. So you said, bless you. Appreciate you for that, everybody. Shout out to y'all. And again, hit the like button. Let's keep it over 50%. Right now, we are there so far. Okay. Now, let's take a look at Shiba Inu. Like we said the other day, it's like we could have predicted it, but we're not using anything that's magical we're using technical analysis to say that we figured out what she knew one of the first major resistance lines was going to be in this 32 34 range right because this is the fibonacci level 78.6 so we seen that this was going to be a bit of a resistance level and it is we hope that it breaks up above it but if it doesn't then we know what time it is it's going to continue this downtrend at least on a technical level i always tell you to prepare you i'll never tell you to scare you i just want to keep it real with you all of the time okay let's take another look at robin hood now if you know how to do options at all family i ain't never seen a, a guarantee on the stock market before but it seems like betting against robin hood in the long term was just one of the best almost guarantees that i've ever seen and how crazy this thing has been crashing look at this Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. But many reasons are why they're, they're basically going through that. So let's also take a look at a few other things. Let's take a look at Facebook, Meta, because they've been getting smoked. You know what else has been getting smoked? Alibaba has been getting smoked. Look at them. They're up 4% today, but they've been absolutely getting smoked. This is one of the most undervalued companies that I've seen in a long time but you got to remember one thing about it being undervalued is the sole fact that this is a chinese company and they are susceptible to chinese laws and regulations so even if it's worth let's call it 200 dollars a share it means nothing if the company's basically being controlled by another entity outside of their control like their government for example okay so now let's also go and let's Go back to something that I was talking about a little bit yesterday. Now, you would be surprised to know, and we hope that Shiba Inu could burst past this resistance level, but you would be surprised to know, because I got so many different comments yesterday, because I was talking about how Shiba Inu, according to official sources, is being shorted. Bitcoin being shorted, Shiba Inu among them being shorted, and their positions were liquidated, leading to a bit of a short squeeze, right? So Shiba Inu is officially a short squeeze related play. Now, people were asking how, and then I brought up the evidence of how. Sometimes you just got to watch the whole video, and you'll see. I always lay it down flat so you can understand it totally and perfectly. KuCoin, right, which is another platform, they literally told you back in November how to do it. And they said that you could use, basically, watch this. This is literally what they said to everybody. They said, and for those of you investing in Shiba Inu, you, you need to know this, right, because you need to know who's short in your plays and who's not. They said if you were to put $1,000 in with a 5X leverage, when it dropped 36%, you would have turned 1,000 into 2,700, more than 2X, right? Right, more than 2X. So you already know what time it is. But you get into a pool of $15,000 rewards. So they were actually trying to get people to understand that now is the time to short it. And then you know what happened? The short sellers of Shiba Inu started getting smoked, smoked. And just in 24 hours, they lost like $10 million in a blink of an eye. Look at this. Forced liquidations, like a margin call, lost all of that money, all of a sudden, real quick, real fast, in a hurry, right? <laughs> Derivatives linked liquidations for Shiba Inu, right? That's, that's crazy to me. 
That's absolutely crazy that they're short in cryptocurrency. So what I really want you to understand is like I always tell you. Now I'm gonna Google this and please nothing crazy pop up every time. So we're gonna look up Melvin Capital. Y'all think I'm joking around, but data scientists, right? You think I'm playing, but I'm not. Excuse me. You think I'm playing, but I'm not. They got data scientists and interns <laughs> basically scouring the internet looking at what retail investors are doing let me see if i can find it yep here we go again look at this even since july we already know what time it is with the data scientists melvin surges it says after they lost 46 percent or struggles after they lost 46 percent the data scientists basically Plotkin, Melvin Capital, they have these data scientists scouring social media trying to see what you are buying because doesn't that sound crazy and almost predatory in a way where they're preying on a retail investor, where they're trying to find out what you're investing in and then they go and find out what you're investing in and then they short it to the point that in the last 24 hours, approximately three quarters of all Shiba new futures are shorts, meaning they're betting against it. And then they got liquidated, aka they were forced to buy it, and they shot it up on a rocket. So that's crazy that they actually, it's like they're not even thinking for themselves anymore, these short sellers. It's like they're just following what you are doing and trying to do the exact opposite. It's actually quite crazy. Okay, and let's get it over here, and let's look at some plays and see what's going on. So, I was telling you yesterday that we were looking at options on, on this one, on Boeing. And now it's going back up to three to two fourteen. Come on now, you said Ford puts. I check it out. I got you, Ford ticker symbol F. Yeah, Ford is falling off the sky, baby. And remember, this is one of the reasons why we trade with our charts, not our hearts. So look, Ford jumped back into a channel that it's been trading in for a little bit, and it did. It traded in that channel for a while. For about January twenty fourth, it would go to about nineteen, and then. January 27th, it goes up to about 21, just about. It comes back down to 19. Trades in the channel. If you were trading that channel, then what you have to understand is if it breaks the channel, then you have to play it more for the downside or the upside if it was to break the other way. But now you see which way it broke, right? It broke down towards the downside. You got to play it with the charts, never with your heart. Okay, so now let's also go and let's see what the overall market is doing. VTI. The overall market is about flat today, ever so slightly in the red, ever so slightly. My guy, Michael, he said, we need them AMC puts. I told you before, I can't do AMC puts. It's just not in the cards for me. I will never tell you what to do. You got to be in charge of your own portfolio. But personally, I can't do it. I can't do the, I can't do any kind of puts on AMC. I can't make money with the short sellers. It's not in my it's not in my cards. You understand me? Okay, yes. Uh, snap puts are printing. Let's go to Snap. Okay, yeah. So, oh, man, I might have missed my window. But, again, I always put it up for the Discord family to check the levels. So, here we go. So, on the Discord, I put the Snap. I wanted Snap to be on your radar yesterday, right? So, you can watch it. So, remember, if you're making money with it, never get married to it. Get in, get up, get out. If you want to see the watch list or anything like that, hit the Discord link. It's in the top comment. It's pinned. So you could jump into that. And <laughs> he said, you're on your way in. Let's go. And hit the like too, family. We have basically nowhere near 50% likes maybe. But let's get to like 700 likes. That's what we need to do. Neo is a China play. And I don't care. Yeah, it is. Put. <laughs> yeah, I can't do no AMC puts, family. I can't tell you what to do, but I couldn't do it myself. This is not it's not in the cards for me. Straight up. But yeah, if you're making money with the snap puts, remember, get in, get up, and get out. Play the levels, play to win. Take your money and go. So you said undercover hedges in here. Data scientists, they some sometimes they around. We know what time it is with them. Okay, so now. We see Ford puts his print. Snap puts his print. We see Shiba Nu has spiked up just the last few days. Let's look at Tesla and see what kind of volatility we're getting on a day. Tesla is pretty good for giving you some volatility, either to the downside or the upside. Now I see it pushing up to the upside. Let's look at the MACD. Let's look at the 
RSI. See where we at with it. So the MACD is basically in full swing in terms of divergence. The RSI, it looks like it's getting closer to overbought, but it's not there just yet. You got to remember that Tesla calls are rather expensive. BAC all time high. Let me check that out before I come back to Tesla. Am I in the wrong one? Yep, Bank of America maybe. No. BAC. Yeah, I'm not sure, family. I'm not sure. Maybe Weibo doesn't have the one you're talking about, or maybe this is it. I'm not sure. You said why they doing shorting? They try to make money on the way down, but not like a put option. They're trying to make money on the way down in terms of selling. They're selling all kind of shares into the market, forcing it down, or coins into the market, forcing it down, and then they want to buy them back really low. Come on now. Somebody said hedgies, snakes. Oh, we know what time it is with these hedge funds. So let's go back to Tesla really quickly. Let's go back to Tesla really quickly. And let's look and see what are Tesla's options? What are the prices on them? So Tesla, since it's Tuesday, they should be cheaper than yesterday. However, Tesla is an expensive stock. So rather still expensive compared to other things. So yeah, significantly cheaper than yesterday. And make sure that if you get into a weekly option, I'm talking the, the expiration is on Friday. Then what you got to do is understand, oh my God, Michael, he said Bank of America. Let's go. Let's go. You said it's Bank of America and it's print. <laughs> Google puts his print too. I love to see it. I love to see it. Okay, yeah. So I'm looking at this again. If you are in a weekly option, you have to make sure that you understand and know that you cannot hold all of these overnight every time. You got to look at theta. Look at time decay. If theta is really, really high on your play, like for example, if you get into this, if you get into this, let's call it a call on Tesla, the 410 call. Am I a call or my puts? So if you get into the 410 or 415 call, it'll cost you $2,200. This thing is going to lose $400 basically overnight, regardless of if it's going up or down. So you got to ask yourself, am I ready to lose that? Is it going to go up enough to match that and then overcome it? That's what you got to understand. All right. So now let's see. Let's go to bank. I'm just going to type it out. Bank of America Corp. Brown, are you all right? Yeah, I'm looking, but I don't know why I'm not seeing what, what y'all are seeing. When I look at Bank of America, it doesn't look all time high to me. Let's go to a different website because maybe it's just Weeble. Bank of America stock. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let me try it. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know what's going on with Weeble, where it doesn't want to pull it up for me to chart it. BAC stock, New York Stock Exchange. Bank of America. Corp, New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, it just doesn't want me to be able to chart this, but it is what it is. We see that it's basically $50 right now. It's going crazy. And you know what else is going crazy? Peloton, P-T-O-N. What's going on? There are rumors right now that they are going to be bought out. Michael, I got you. There are rumors that they're going to be bought out by Amazon after this huge crash. All the way from $171, and now they're all the way down here at $33. I know a lot of people got smoked on that riding this wave all the way down with calls who is brownie come on now who is brownie <laughs> who is brownie my dog <laughs> lots of halts already this morning oh yeah you know you already know you already know okay yeah so we also see i'm going back to tesla like we said, it was getting close to overbought. Let's see what it's doing. So it's kind of cooling off just a tad bit, just an ever so slight. Let's take a look too. 
let's take a look over here and let's go to coin market cap because we want to see because i want you to really understand what's going on here notice that bitcoin in the last 30 i'm sorry in the last seven days is up he said brownie and new <laughs> the beast the big dog that's funny you know what <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm gonna go get brownie and I'm, I'm gonna let you see him hold up hold up right here Brownie, come here. Here. He's busy. I don't know what. Brick, Brick, Brownie, come here, man. Let me see if you can see me. Come here, big boy. Good. Here. Yes. <laughs> come here. Here. Yes. All right, big boy. Come here. Can y'all see him? He's running around. Brownie, here. Sit. Sit. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Down. Good. So yeah, this is my dog. So just know. <laughs> Break, make a brownie coin. <laughs> Hit that like button for my son. This, this is my son. Here, big boy. So that's that's his nickname. If you keep hearing me say that, that's his nickname. Cause he's he's like brownie. Got to be like a hundred and. At 40 pounds. Here. Yes. <laughs> but now my hands got. <laughs> but again, like I told you, is he a Rottweiler? Yeah, he a Rottweiler. <laughs> my dog. <laughs> Hold up, where my button at? My dog. I just had him eating out my hands, so I gotta go wash my hands. So you already know what time it is, family. So look, I will be right back again. So yeah, one thing that I have to do is I always have to keep Brownie away from the people who are doing work on my house because you already know. <laughs> you already know. He's a good dog, but he's he's excitable. He's real excitable. All right, so I'm here. You said, <laughs> we need pants? Come on now. How do you even know I got legs? <laughs> the beast, the big dog. But let's keep it going and let's see. So now that I'm back, let's talk about it. So, again, family, could we get the video first of all? Shout out to Brownie. Could we get it for, uh, what is it? 1,000 likes. Could we get 1,000 likes? And you said, do I got flip-flops on? You know I got flip-flops on. Always. In my house, I don't walk outside in shoes just to come in my house and walk out in here with shoes. We don't do that. We not having that. You know what time it is. Cookie is the cat. Kitty is the cat, and Brownie is the dog. I used to have a turtle named Franklin. May he rest in peace. Okay, so now, let's see. Bitcoin is up. 
13%, like I was telling you before, right? We got Ethereum up 11%. Bitcoin is basically bringing everything with it. We got Binance coin running too. We, a real winner, which we've been talking about, ProCoin. I love to see it back to 50 cents. It basically got down to like in the 30s. <laughs> yep, you said same in my house. Come on now. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Okay, yeah. So, a cryptocurrency that, I, again, that I'm interested in getting. Does everyone know this? And I talked about this several times, but let's look at Crowcoin, for example. The Lakers Stadium. You said Snap is going down. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was talking about AMC all morning, so I have not been focused on it. But again, like I always tell you, I'm here to give you the tools, right? I give you the tools, and then I put a play in front of you so then you can know how to run it. And for example, this watch list that I got over on the Discord where we're talking about this, these calls or puts on basically Boeing, I did the same thing yesterday with who? With Snap. So then you could get in and get up and get out and make some money real quick on a play. But come on now, you know what time it is. You said no outside shoes in the house. That's facts. Oh, I'm thinking like, why is everybody saying Franklin? But everybody's saying, oh, rest in peace to Franklin. Oh, man, that was my, he was my first pet. And not my first pet in life, but my first pet as an adult. Where I was like, yeah, I'm getting a, you know what I'm saying? Somebody actually gave him to me. You said we need Keenan Sandals for merch. Y'all, y'all real. <laughs> y'all real. We need three likes to get to a thousand. Franklin probably had had a slow growth ETF. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't do Frank like that. You said you stake 4K Crow, earn 10% plus. Yo, Crow is a banger, baby. Crow, I don't think they have the charting on Weeble for it. They don't. They don't. But I think Crow is a banger. This don't mean go out and buy it. But it does mean that I personally think it's a banger. Do your research, right? Let's look at some of the data and ratings, analytics on Crowcoin. Most people who bought Crow are up. Most people bought it are up. I actually, I want to buy more of it. I was chilling and trying to let it come down because it had ran up to like 70 and 80. And now I see it and I'm looking to potentially get back in the game and make some money with that. You got to really think. Now, everybody understand this. Do you remember not too long ago where everybody, everybody and their mother was talking about basically how they're going to sell out everything they have and just be out the game and then jump back in the game later on this little baby dip right here. This is a, this dip is not even really a dip. Like it's a dip. The spy VTI, all these other things, they came from 140 to about where one, two, no, I'm sorry, 240 to 200. Had everybody scared for, to death. And now we see a little bit of retracement up and everybody's in love with the stock market again. You do got to understand, though, just on a technical standpoint on the day. Remember how I told you about the 200 moving average right here. This 200 moving average is indicative of a downtrend. When you're under it, it's likely that this is going to be a resistance line. And we just saw the 20 moving average, this blue line cross over to 50. That's a negative indicator. We got another one. Where we're under the 50, that's another indicator that is going down. However, we do start to see, at least in the short term, some positive momentum. That's what I'm talking about. My guy said, Keenan, you a G. You say you rock a tux and flip flops. I'm telling you this. You got to dress to impress, right? Who? Impress yourself. You want to be on your best, you know what I'm saying? Be on your best too. Don't go broke trying to dress nice. However, you got to stand and make sure you look presentable. But then also, you got to protect your own sanctuary in terms of how I handle that is I don't wear shoes in my house. I don't wear shoes in my house. I like to protect my energy and protect my house in terms of, let's say somebody's going and they're walking in the bathrooms at the gas stations and then they're going to walk and walk on my floors in my house. I'm not having that. You know what time it is with me. You know, we got to protect our castle. We got to protect our energy. You say you love crow. That's right. I'm thinking about going and buying some crow. I might buy some crow. Let me let me take a look at Crowcoin on their website, crypto.com. This is where I have basically my crow at. Yep. And it's still telling me it's just under 50 cents. And I love to see it. Straight up. Love to see it. Okay. Keenan for president of the United States of America. Come on now. Let's win. No shoes in the house, baby. 
No shoes. Hi, fam. What's going on with you? I appreciate you. You say you needed to hear that? Come on. We got to we gotta show people, you know, we got value and self-respect for ourselves. So we got to show other people how to respect us and respect themselves. How do we know he's actually wearing sandals? <laughs> or he actually has legs. That's a good point. Come on now. Yeah, keep them germs outside. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Back here. Oh, my goodness. Four puts. I mean, not four. Snap puts. Printing, baby. Printing. Absolutely. So we've been showing this weakness. Showing this weakness. Roll down. Roll down. Roll down. Now we are currently oversold on the minute chart. Let's look at the five. We are currently... $30 or not $30. We're here $34 and we're at 30 on a five minute chart. Let's look at the daily. The daily we trading under every single one of these moving indicators. Why am I bringing this up? The reason I'm bringing up snap. And again, if you watch me on YouTube, you'll catch some of the plays that we're looking at or talking about. But if you catch me on a discord, you'll catch them all. Right. And this is where I provide guidance to the family. First of all, I teach you how to trade options but then i also you could catch the watch list over there too and then see what i got my eye on right so then since you know how to fish you could go and fish for yourself and you won't become dependent you don't need to be dependent you just need guidance that's all so then check this out snap we will get a 40 dollar call if it's seen strength above this 38.95 guess what on the day when you look at snap so let me try to walk you through this on the day, we didn't even see it approaching that at all, right? It didn't even get close. So we didn't even have to even consider. We would we would just immediately dismiss getting calls. Immediately dismiss getting calls. And then look at the puts. If a snap is showing weakness, a snap 35 put, if we see weakness, under 36.85. And look at this. 36.40, all of this weakness. MACD crossed over over here. Boom. Ride the put, down a dollar, make some money, right? You got to have a system so you're trading with the chart, not with your heart. And, and, come on now. You said join the Discord, hit the like, let's go. I can't say your name. It's like 131, it's all numbers. They said that Muslims don't let people wear shoes in their house as well. I hear you. I hear you. I feel like we got to, you know, all, everybody needs to protect the energy and they need to do it in a way that best suits them spy is going straight down let's check it out spies is it pfft, come on now crazy crazy but remember build that foundation out you ordered your hoodie you can't wait to get it let's go and tesla is dropping let's check it out tsla tesla back in the 800s Yes, it is. Let's do some charting on Tesla. Because I'll tell you this. It could be the case. So now that we got under this 200, this can act as a resistance. So know this. If we start to pop above it, then we might be able to ride a call back up. Let's look for the floor on Tesla. Where has the most recent floor been? And look at it. The 200 moving average. About 792. 792. Dre Day, he said, K, okay, check the watch list yourself, family. If you want a Discord, then go to the watch list. You'll see it. And my guy TJ, also, family, you got to keep your eye on some of these hot ones. Like this. They said this one's getting smacked today. You got to remember, when you ride a wave on ticker symbol BKKT, something that's crazy hot like this, you got to bring your oven mitts, baby. You know why? Because, and remember, when you get your oven mitts on, I want you to consider this. Consider this. When you got your oven mitts on and you go and you grab something hot out the oven, baby, right? Do you hold on to it for a long time or do you eventually have to sit it down and let it go and then eat from the fruits of your labor? You understand what I'm saying? Come on now. It's a message in a bottle. But if you got up and you ran crazy with this, right? You got to run up crazy like this. Look at that. Especially not even just on the stock, on a call. You holding on to something hot. You got your oven mitts on. You can handle it, but you got to set it down and take your profits. And then consider riding the wave back down again. I got you.
You joining the Discord? Let's get it, baby. I love to see it. You said options to buy at low prices. This is how you buy options at low prices. You need a further out strike price or you need something like a closer date. That's how you do it. That's how you rock out. That's how you win. Okay, now let's go back. Because again, I don't know why I can't find Bank of America, like their actual share price on Weeble. It won't. It won't show me. So if you can find it, let me know. So I'm, I even type in Bank of America Corp and they, they pop up right here. But when I click it, it's showing me $25. This ain't the right one. Bank of America. For whatever reason, it just won't let me do it. It keeps showing me this $25 one. Hey, it is what it is. Show Neo, I got you. So let's check this out. Neo's fine. Double top that. 25. 25 is a crazy resistance. If you see it bounce off of 25 again, you potentially could ride a put down. Find it when I go to markets. Let's see. So my markets. Soft. All right. Microsoft is getting sold off. Google's getting sold off and bought, though, at the same time. Another one. Let's see. Apple is getting sold off. Facebook, they're starting to buy it. Bank services. Bank of America. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. So we see Bank of America right here. You say you can't find it either. Isn't that weird? But look, if you go to markets, like my guy just said, and then you'll end up on software and services, right? Go to banking services down here, and then you'll see it. Double click it, and it pops up. But for whatever reason, they're hiding it. Who knows? Is it a glitch? Is it the powers that be? Who knows? Straight up. Yeah, I did type that one, and it didn't pop up. And then when you look at it right here, right now, it's just straight up BAC. Nothing different. So, but now we see it at $50, right? It got to $50, two cents. Let's zoom all the way out on Bank of America. It was a dollar in the 80s, and now it's $50 in 2020. You said, Keen, I appreciate all you do to have someone with a voice like you. I appreciate you, family. You said, stand up for the 99%. Always. I will always do that. I will always do that. And for that reason that I had, I had to just tell y'all, I had posted this the other day on Twitter. Let me get off of Sunny's page real quick. Go to my page. Click on my profile. Understand that I told y'all uh, before that they've been demonetizing your boy, right? They've been straight up demonetizing your boy. Because I guess, who knows? Maybe they don't like the truth. It is what it is. But I've been getting emails like this. They've been manually reviewing my stuff. And they've been making it so only YouTube premium revenue can get to me. Right? I'm still eligible to earn, but only from people who have YouTube premium or a super chat or something like that. So this is why, again, it is what it is. If that's how they want to rock out, hey, I got the Discord family got my back. First of all, too, let me shout out Public, who got my back. Shout out to them for not leaving me hanging. Right? The Public Investing app, you get up to $73 in free stock if you use the link in the description. Go ahead and do that. Get yourself some money. Get on a new app that's not using payment for order flow. So I want to give a shout out to those who support me. Understand me on that. Straight up. Because they, they really try to do me dirty, but y'all got my back anyway. That's why I always tell y'all to hit the like button, and I tell you to join the Discord, because it's not just you just joining the Discord for no reason. You join it, and then you basically get to learn over there. You get to be with the family, see the plays, all of that type of stuff. And then, you know what? When they try to suppress people who are talking and everything like that and telling the truth, I got you. I got you. But you see how they, you see how they do me? It is what it is. It is what it is. And I think... You know what I think about when they try to hold us back and they can't do it? I think that's goofy. Straight up. Straight up goofy. But it is what it is. We ain't going to cry over this. Y'all got my back, and I know that. So let's keep it going. We got Bank of America is at basically, we look here. I'm hearing people saying that it's at an all-time high, but I don't see that. It looks like the all-time high was back in 2006. Where it was 5508. 5508. You say you support me? I know you do. I appreciate you for that. Bree, 
And Dre, I got you. I got you. You said run them likes up, fam. Let's go. Let's go. It looks like all time high was in, unless Weevil is mistaken, 5508 back in 2006. And now we're getting back up to those levels. You said you got premium. Tai Chi, shout out to you, family. Much love. Much love. We're not going to let them hold us back. They goofy. Straight up. Why did the watch list move? It shouldn't have moved. It should. It might just be under, like, you probably got to click a drop down. Big support. My Somebody said, uh, I mean, oh, this that's a great, that's a great counterpoint. He said it might be because you're playing music in the background. Family, how long we've been going live for? Do y'all remember the day when I let go of my nine to five? I put in my letter, and then I've been playing these songs ever since. I've been playing these songs ever since, right? The Welcome to the Party, I've been playing the, the Erica Badu one, all of these, never a problem, never a problem. And then I make a video about, I make a video about this, like I was showing you on the AMC video earlier today, where I talked about this, and then all of a sudden it's a problem, out of nowhere, but some might say it's a coincidence. So they gotta go and manually review it. You would've thought, you would've thought I was inciting violence of some sort. But it is what it is. Never a problem before, but we don't complain and, cr and cry about stuff like that. So here we go. We make, they give us lemonade. No, they give us lemons, we make lemonade. You heard that one. Dre, much love. Ty, much love. Y'all keeping the lights on in here. Appreciate y'all for that. You don't got to do it, but you choose to. Bring your love from Canada. I appreciate Canada. And again, allegedly, supposedly, right? <laughs> Hypothetically, let's go. <laughs> and we over 50% likes. Let's get it. All right, so now let's keep it going. I want y'all to think about it like this. Let's look at Ford. Notice that Ford has been dropping off the face of the earth, right? And when you see something like this, the way that you have to play it, is you got to tell yourself, okay, how can I make money if this is oversold? Then you consider for the short term, riding the wave up, right? You got to understand that for the short term, you could ride the wave back up. But if it's only retracement, then once you start to see that weakness and it start to curve and turn back towards the downside, then you will let it go. You understand me? That's how we got to play it. Just like that. Um, Einstein said, please uh check the messages i got you right, write it again send me a message again so i can make sure that i see it appreciate you i appreciate that yo you say you can't stop the one percent come on now somebody said tears in the chat for amc hold up let's go back to the beast the big dog the banger amc entertainment and let's check them out we don't put tears in the chat for amc we put tears in the chat for who for the hedge funds when they are getting smoked straight up and let's see what they're doing right now Let's go and let's get an idea, not a full story, but an idea. And it's this. We're going to look at Stonk O Tracker. Allegedly, they're supposed to stop shorting it if it gets to 1342, at least for 24 hours. But we know what time it is with that, right? We know that they're never going to stop and they're going to keep doing whatever they could do. So, hold up. Shout out to Wyatt. Appreciate you, big dog. Keeping the lights on. Shout out to you for the super chat. Much love. So, here we go. They're supposed to allegedly stop shortening it at 1342, but you know there are rules that are exempt to the short sale rule. Right now, they can keep shortening it. It's off. But here we go. There are only 700,000 shares available to borrow for them to put into the market, like borrow them and then short them into the market. But understand, there used to be 5 million like last week. So they borrowed a lot of shares and we could prepare for basically downtrends like this. And remember, I'm not telling you to buy Hold or sell. I'm giving you the facts so you could be the judge. Never overextend yourself on these because then you won't be able to diamond hand if you wanted to diamond hand. We look at the volume. The volume is crazy low. In the last 15 minutes or so, AMC has only been traded just 1 million different shares. And the reason that I want you to consider that is because of this. What is What do low volume things like this tell you? This tells you that people who describe themselves as apes AMC apes are actually holding on to the shares, right? The only people really trading it are the big dogs, the hedge funds. You see what I'm saying? King Slot said made 160 
on Snapchat with the put in 30 seconds. Discord is fire. Thank you, KG. I got you, family. I'm telling you this. We teach you how to fish so then you can fish for yourself. You understand? And then you get paid. I love to see it. Absolutely love to see it, baby. I'm going to keep doing my best to steer you in the right direction. In a technical analysis class, I'm working on that to be out mid-February. Right now, we're on the 8th. So I'm shooting for, like, let's call it either, like, less than two weeks from right now. I want to have the first part of the, the technical analysis class out. The options class is already out on the Discord. Okay, yeah. So, again, when you see low volume like this, why do you get low volume? Because the apes are holding. The apes are holding, baby, straight up. And then, look at this. You only get these high volumes when you see the activity happening with who? The short sellers. Now, $1.5 billion worth of a $7 billion company being traded over on the dark pools. Come on now. And didn't we just hear the other day? Let me know if you remember this. Didn't we just hear the other day, Gary Gensler, he was telling us that, you know what? 90 to 95%, if you remember, let me know. Write yes in the comments. He said 90 to 95%. Remember, this is the SEC 33rd chair of the SEC. He said 95%. Of all retail, he was very specific with his words. He said retail traders, that's you and me, that's the everyday investor, right? Are being taken off of lit exchanges, like the New York Stock Exchange, like the NASDAQ, things like that. They're being put on what can be described as a dark pool. Why is this important? Because they told us that they were going to do something about it. But I tell you this, when it's all said and done, more is always said than was ever done. More is always said than was ever done. And guess what? We're getting a lot of lip service. That's why I actually posted a video. Let me double click this right here. I posted a video and I asked a specific question. And let me show you real quick right here. Check it out. Oh, shout out to us. We got 447,000 subscribers. The last time I looked, it was at 440. So let's go. Don DeMarco for the family. I appreciate y'all for hitting the subscribe, by the way. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. That's real. That's real. I love it. So here we go. I asked a question the other day. And let me see if I can find it quickly or not. I said, which, which one is it? Let me see. AMC, the SEC. Here we go. AMC, SEC. Is the SEC finally starting to squeeze? Or are they all talk and really not making any change? Come on now. <laughs> Right, not the 33 or the 30. You know what time it is, baby. I'm telling you, are they all talk or are they going to make some change? Family, this was a few days ago and I'm looking at the dark pools right now. Nothing changed. People were talking about how Monday, blah, 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 rules and blah, blah, blah. Listen, if I make a rule and I told you this before, let's say that I decide, you know what? I'm, I'm Gary Gensler. Boom. And I decide that short selling. You can only short sell a certain amount, right? And I don't, and not that he did that, but I'm giving you an example. Nobody enforces the rule. Those of you who have kids, what if you tell your kids, look, no cookies after 5 p.m., right? No cookies, no sweets, no nothing, right? No no drinks other than water after 5 p.m. And then you catch them drinking some, drinking some high C <laughs> or some sugary drink or something like that, right? Some Sprite. And they eat some cookies and it's seven o'clock PM. And then you don't tell them to stop. You just look and say, I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you one hundredth of that cookie. They like, all right, I get to eat the rest of the cookie. They're fine. Right. You see what I'm saying? If you're not really enforcing these rules, then it is what it is. You said tribal lotus flower. Much love, baby. Much love. Appreciate you for the super chat. Do I have a backup channel? No, I got a discord. And that's, that's what I'm rocking with. I got a Discord, and the family is over there, and they, come on now. That's that's what I'm rocking with, baby. And I got you. I got you, and I got your support. So I appreciate you for that. Not that I'm against getting a second channel, because I feel like you wanted something, baby. You said the SEC is goofy. I'm telling you this, man. He said, straight up from Jamaica, nothing but support. Yo, let's go. Let's go. So, so TV, shout out to you. Check the RSI for Peloton. I got you. So, P-T-O-N. And I just want to also say something too. Check this out. When you catch me, some of these days, 
you will catch me doing some trades. I never want you to get into the position where you feel like you're over trading. I want you to understand that you trade when you hit your goals, you chill and you go put the time in to learn more. Right. Put the time in to learn more. So you won't see me trade every every single day. Because remember, I got to feed my brain so then I don't get into bad habits. This is why when you go and you do any kind of training, like let's say you're training for a sports game. Let's say you're training for, I don't know, how to trade on the market. You need what I could describe as like a coach, right? And I want to just give you a quick, I got you a Peloton in a second. I want to just give you a quick example. So let's go to YouTube and let's look up Steph Curry training. Right? He, training. Let's look at him training. So when you watch Steph Curry train, you'll notice that Curry oftentimes is training with coaches or training with trainers and things like that. And you'll ask yourself, like Steph Curry is, look at him. There's somebody right here coaching him. And you ask yourself this, how could the best basketball shooter of all time have somebody telling him how to do it? You know what I mean? But you know what this guy is here for? If Curry starts to get into a bad habit, like let's say he starts turning his shot one way or the other way, the guy is telling him, you're the best shooter in the world, but remember the fundamentals. Remember the fundamentals. Like he's just telling you, like just to remind you so you don't get into a bad habit. When you're practicing by yourself, what happens is you might start to incur a lot of losses to your game of trading on the stock market because let's say that you forget how to appropriately set your stop loss. I'm here to remind you about that. Let's say that you forget to get in and get up and get out. I'm here to remind you about that. Let's say that you forget about theta, time decay, something like that. And you thinking, should you hold this overnight or not? Guess what? I'm here to remind you about that. I say, yo, look, you want to get into a Peloton call, right? Or a Peloton put or whatever in the put. Let's say you get into this one. It's 58 it's $58 for the ask. And then the theta is 23. And I'm like, yo, listen, you know what? I wouldn't hold that overnight because it's going to lose half of its value overnight. So I'm here to remind you of the game and remind you of the fundamentals, right? You understand what I'm saying? So then that's how I want you to feel. So when you're trading, you got to make sure that you are monitoring yourself or if not, you are among a community. So we can say, yo, look, you're like, yo, look, I'm up 3000% on this option, right? Option at the tippity top. Let's say you got into a Bank of America call for whatever. I don't know. What, look, now I'm on it again, and it's showing me something else. I'm going to go back to markets. Let's say you got into a Bank of America call, and you knocked it way out of the park, way out of the park. This thing is getting close to all-time high levels, and you're still holding on to it, and you up 3 million percent, and you see that it's at the peak tip top, and you got 100 contracts. I might be here to tell you, look, sell half of those contracts, collect that money, man. Right. And this is no disrespect to anybody, anybody, anybody. But I just want to show you this. Do you guys remember the Dogecoin millionaire? Dogecoin millionaire. He's a YouTuber now. And again, if you watch this Dogecoin millionaire, shout out to you. I'm not trying to disrespect or anything like that. But he posted a video and it says why I left YouTube and he bought a billion flocky and all these other kind of things. Now, from my understanding, he had about three billion. Three million dollars or two point nine million dollars worth of Dogecoin, right? He was up who knows how many percent, but I heard he put in like two hundred and fifty thousand somewhere around, and then basically ten x it and got all the way to basically two point nine million or even more than ten x it, right? These are the situations where you need somebody in your corner to tell you, okay, maybe you lock in a million, and then you diamond hand the rest. You can still have your diamond hands, but you got three million dollars. Maybe you just lock in one million. You see what I'm saying? So then you will be a millionaire and you have solidified that and you won't drop under this point, even if Dogecoin comes back down. Now, he's still doing good. He still got like five hundred thousand dollars worth of it. But I do want you to understand that sometimes you just need somebody in your corner just to put you in the right direction. And, you know, some people, they you got to make your own decision. So shout out to him. I hope he's doing well. But I just wanted to really just explain that to you so you can remember why having communities is such an important thing. And this is why on a Discord, for example, I'm always talking about, you know, we a tight-knit family and we don't need no knuckleheads over there who I'm, my notepad at, pop, pop. So I'm quick, I'm quick to like check something if I see it. You understand me? Because again, it's important to have a good community of people who are like-minded. So then you could, when you succeed, you can lock it in and win. And that's important. That's important. And again, like somebody just said, Sometimes people just don't listen, but you know whether or not you are that kind of person. You got to have these people in your corner and you got to remember to sometimes take heed to what they say at times, right? Take heed so then you could just listen. Let me, and again, 
Dogecoin millionaire, shout out to you, big dog. This is no disrespect to you. So here we go. Let's let's keep it going. And I want to give a shout out to y'all. So my guy said this. He said the check is out. Lucid, please check. Oh yeah, let's check him out. You know what we gotta find out before anything else? We gotta find out when is L L C I D L C I D earnings. We really need to know that. February 22nd. Family, mark your calendar, baby. February 22nd. They're going to announce their earnings. We have to remember that Lucid deliveries, delivery numbers. We do not know what they are. Right? We do not know what they are. But we know a few things. So let's take a look at these pieces of data right here. It says, actually, that was probably even easier to see before. Let's zoom in a little bit. I know some of y'all forgot your reading glasses, but I got you. It says that they aim for 20,000 vehicles in 2022. And it says that they aim for 90,000 vehicles in 2023. We have not heard a single thing about their deliveries just yet. But that is a little bit alarming to some. Why is that? For the sole fact that EV companies always announce their earnings as soon as it happens. Like, for example, not their earnings. Let's not say that. Because they have to calculate that in the background with accounting. However, they tell us their deliveries as soon as they happen. Did I say the wrong number? Okay, I, I, I might have messed up, family. February 21st, 2022. If I said 22nd, my bad. Nobody's perfect. You know, we make mistakes. I meant February 21st. Mark that down on your calendar so you can remember. So, again, this does it say build? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says build. But, again, if they're in high demand, they should be able to get rid of everything that they build. So, we want to be on the lookout for that. We want to see what they deliver. They were supposed to deliver in 2020. It might have been 2021. They were supposed to deliver, I want to say 500, deliver like 590, 500, was it 20? The company plans to manufacture 520 units in 2021. Okay. And it ramp up production to 20,000 in 2022. And then it said 49,000 here. The other source said 90,000. But we want to see. Are they getting these cars off? Are they selling them? You see what I'm saying? They should be able to sell everything that they make because they're not making that much. And we all know about Lucid. Lucid is basically in the United States. If you are an investor, then then you heard about Lucid. You heard about Lucid. You said, can YouTube bounce me? Who knows? Maybe it could. That would be crazy if they did because it's not like I'm in here. I'm not talking about politics. I don't even curse on here. You know what I'm saying? I keep it. I keep it straight. I keep it to the facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I would throw an opinion in there every now and again, but I got the receipts to back me up. You see what I'm saying? Every time you, you realize this, I want y'all to just, and this is no disrespect to any other YouTuber. I want you to compare me to them and think who coming with the facts, right? Who coming with the facts? I always show the receipts. Whenever I'm talking about anything, I got the receipts always. I tell you, look, here we go. That's that's one of my that's one of my things. That's one of the things why my channel got bigger than some other channels because I always literally come with the receipts. So check this out. I say, yo, they short and she but new. I'm coming with the receipts. I didn't just make that up. Approximately three quarters of all SHIB futures are short in the last 24 hours. Shorts positions are liquidated, and this is what's pumping Shiba new up. You see what I'm saying? So I always come with the receipts. And then I showed you how are they doing it. One way is this which is KuCoin Futures. KuCoin Futures, right? How are they doing it? And they told you, their valued KuCoin user, the price decreased by 34.6% last week, blah, blah, blah. If you would have put 1,000 in, boom. Then you would have got 2,700. And then they tell you that you get into a raffle where you get $15,000, but I'm always coming at you with the receipts straight up. I got you 100% of the time with the receipts. You can always count on me for that. So then here we go. My guy asked me to check out PTON, and I got you. And Peloton is pumping, baby, straight up. So on the day, let's look at the daily. On the day chart, we still in a downtrend. Let's not get it twisted, right? Let's not get it twisted. We still in a huge downtrend from about 171, which happened in January 2021, so like over a year. It started to basically, here we go. This might be, this might be the best example of Fibonacci retracement that I can show you right here, right now. So check this out, family. Put headphones in the chat for you. I, I'm so glad that somebody asked me to look at Peloton. Julio, much love, big dog. Keeping the lights on in here. 
Shout out to you for the super chat. Headphones in the chat. I'm going to give you a mini lesson on Fibonacci retracement because this is the cleanest example of one I've ever seen. So look at this. We have a huge uptrend. Huge uptrend. We're going to get our tool. It's called Fibonacci retracement. What it's going to do is give us our resistance levels or our support levels automatically. You start by clicking on the bottom of the trend. Right? You click on the bottom of the trend. And then you go up towards the top of the trend. Here. So our trend is from 17 all the way up here to about 139. So literally, this was the uptrend. Then it came down to Fibonacci level 23.6, which was 110. It broke that first support. It came down to 92.7. Look, it hit the support. And then it retraced back up. So that means that this trend, this uptrend, it wasn't over. This was just retracement. And it was going to continue up. Right? Retracement. Let's do that again. But for the entire uptrend, this is where the uptrend ended. All the way up here at 171. So the uptrend is from 17 all the way up to 171. Let's take a look at this. We want to ask ourselves, is this thing going to, when it dropped like this, is this retracement again? Or is it a reversal, right? So if it's retracement, it should bounce off of one of these lines and then go back up. And you can still buy your calls, still make money on the way up. But take a look at this. It was 171. It drops down. It hits your first level on Fibonacci. That's the 134. It breaks it. You're like, oh, whoa, 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 it broke it. It breaks the next level, the 38, the 38.2. 112 broke it, but it found support right here at the 50 50% 50 line. This is basically the one of the last indicators, one of the last, not the last, but one of the last that's telling you that you are in a reversal, meaning this uptrend is about to reverse into a downtrend. So then it broke the 50, which was 93.24. So it broke the 50 family. It tried to shoot back up because the short sellers tried to catch you in a in a bear trap, shot back up, but it still hit the resistance of the 134. And then came back down to retest that 50, dropped all the way down from 171 to $25. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I'm telling you, you got to learn how to use the charts. Crazy. Straight up. Man, it's, 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 it's nuts. And I wish I would have rode the put on it, but I wasn't watching Peloton like that. <sighs> Woo. All right. So let's keep it going. Neo, if you see Neo around $25 and it's showing weakness, you might be able to ride a put down to 22. If you see it up at 25, because it keeps struggling at this 25 level. But if you see it break, like we saw it break over here, you might have a little ride up, but then you want to see if you get some confirmation before you can make so you can make the ride up and win some money like that. How far back do you go on Fibonacci? This is a great question. You go as far back as the trend. You go as far back as the trend. So let's go back to where I'm Peloton right now. Let me get rid of these moving averages to clean my chart up a little bit. Let's take a look. So I was using the day chart. You're looking for a trend. Notice here, we have an uptrend. We have some retracement. And then that uptrend continues. Now we have a downtrend. We have some retracement. Downtrend continues. So as long as the trend is. So let's say that we wanted to look at NEO in the very, very, very short term. I'll show you an example how to get your time frames in the very short term. What you do is, first of all, you can look at the downtrend. When has NEO, how long has it been coming down? It's been coming down since here. So you can start your Fibonacci up here and then bring it all the way down to the end. But let's say that you want to go shorter time frames. You just look for a trend. So I'm on the one hour chart right now. And on this one hour chart, to be honest with you, it's been coming down ever since, right? Been coming down ever since. So you could argue that this right here is an uptrend, at least on a short term. But remember, if you do short term trends, you got to do quick action. You can't be in the game for way too long on a play if you're using short term trends. So here we go. I did the Fibonacci on the one hour chart. I found an uptrend. I used this bottom and this top of this uptrend. So right now, Neo. Is basically hovering on that 38 level, which is 2305, but this is a very short trend. It's not a long trend. You said CO, Coca Cola, all time high? That's crazy if that's, a, if that's the case. Yo, let's go. <laughs> if 
That's crazy. Coca-Cola. And you know what? Let's keep it real. I want to just tell you, Coca-Cola, I'm not telling you go and buy this, but I do want you to consider Coca-Cola is one of those free stocks that is given by Weeble. When you get a free stock and you sign up for Weeble or something like that, and then they give you Coca-Cola, the reason I want you to be mindful of the free stocks that Weeble or Robinhood or Public or anything gives you is, and I told this to the Discord fam, if you get into a stock or you get into the market for the first time, picture this, your grandmother, your grandfather, your uncle, your aunt, whoever, they get into the stock market for the first time, they use the referral code, they're not convinced that they need to invest. So if they get a free stock and next thing you know, the stock is falling to the ground, falling to the ground, they're going to say, whoa, I'm so glad I didn't put any money on this app. But if public, if Robinhood, if any of these, right, Weeble decides, I think this stock can grow, they're more likely to give it to an investor who got a free stock for the sole fact of they want you to see stocks growing. So then you can say, mm, I should have put some money on their app. That's how they're thinking. So they're not always accurate, but you got to at least keep the stocks that you get for free on your watch list. On your watch list. Okay, now let's see it. And I appreciate you. You said Coca-Cola, one of your foundation dividend stocks. Let's go, Denise. So Discord fam, I'm jumping off of this live. I'm going to get on the Discord live chat. I'm going to get on the live voice chat. So I'll see you over there. It's at the bottom of the Discord. Not a video like a live stream video. I'm going to get on a voice chat like a call. And we're going to do that on the Discord. So if you got any questions for me, get them ready. I'm going to head over there. And I'll see y'all. Get on the Discord. The link is in the top. If you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. Again, I love y'all. Take care.